Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, grasshoppers, as we continue our diligent daily training. How is he planning on getting in? His queen should be on the light squares, in theory. I can't believe that Viper is experiencing some technical difficulties, but he's worked his way out of it. B6 might be, bet, might be met by E4. There is some pressure here. Indeed. Five F four, only after tripling. That's primitive, <coughs> possibly effective, but primitive. In reality, G3 is a move that White wanted to make against G5, G4. F5 F4, sorry. Oh, I'm not so sure about this one. 
That was a very unusual random bit of noise. A very unusual random bit of noise. This gives a white and out, honestly. Yeah, we should have gone the other way, Viper. We had to go the other way. But it still looks safe. No, you're gonna... You're gonna need more on that one than to have your weak pawn be gobbled up. But, you still have an extra pawn. An extra pawn on the queen side. Aha! Uh -huh. An outside pass pawn, I see. This is not good. This bodes very, very ill. H5 would normally be a good move, but it's not here. I would have captured the uh, G pawn. Is Viper going to get away? Wow. <laughs> it was probably better to let him play. Oops. Aram. Has Aram done anything special this game? That's a good question. I know that earlier in the day I irked one person by delaying the tournament for five minutes in order to get more people and it didn't really work out. We still only had four people in the event at the time rather than three, so it didn't really matter. Weighing it up, whether or not I should extend the tournament to 8-10, we will see. Aram! Such good play in the last game. Yes. We'll play for structures that we know. Structures only we know. If you've not yet picked up your chess informant, the latest chess informant is 157. I don't think I've updated from 156. 156 was the last one. Copy. Let's see if our opponent is on to us. Seven is called. Hold on. We we're reading it earlier in the week, and this is omnipresent. <laughs> 
What is our opponent up to? I'll take the bishop pair. If you're offering it, I will take it. Building, building, building. So let's see here for a moment. E5, he takes E5. We'll know in a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, informant number 157. 157. What was White's move? Queen to C2? Keep up the pressure. <laughs> Indeed. Takes, 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 and takes. So what do we need to keep go? Where do we need to keep going in this particular instance? allowing a weakness of his squares. E5. Queen to G5. There's no way in, is there? Wasn't that fascinating? JDX the kid said, Good morning. Good morning, grasshoppers. I would push the pawn here. JDX the kid said, but I pushed the pawn built differently. So now, we do wish to checkmate the queen.
Is there an echo coming from my phone, perhaps? Yes, there is an echo coming from my phone. So, A4. Fascinating. Well, we do have to do this. And that. It didn't help, by the way. G3, bishop takes f1, was needed. Nice, solid Karo Khan. Button C5. All right, what are we doing today? A4, B4, G4. We have 115 B4s and 115 G4s. Ali Reza, we're going with B4 today. This is part of a GTO strategy. Just planning on developing to the best of our ability. Mm -hmm. Do we wish to continue this relative mess of a position? Takes, takes, queen a5, not in yet, fine. We don't really want to lose our outer pawns at all. does have a weakness on uh, B7, for what it's worth. Where could he be going? What could it all mean? Takes, 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 takes. Bummer. I was wondering what he was thinking about. Bishops of opposite colors, queen on a square. We'll use this open H file ourselves, honestly.
Not just one pond, but two. Takes, 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 takes. Bishop takes. Knight takes. It's a little bit of a bummer. Yes. That's interesting. And no good at the same time. And so I'm about to lose even more stuff. Is this true? <coughs> So bishop takes. That doesn't work. Is there a way out of this mess? Hard to say. Magnus, good morning. Magnus, old moccasin. Yes.
Yeah, I'm not pleased with it. That much is true. Definitely not pleased with it. Queen to e2 might have been better. Queen to e2 could have been better. Made it on the back rank, is that what you're trying to say? And I'm still made it on the back rank? I don't know. Darn it, did I miss an opportunity? <laughs> I did miss an opportunity. I missed my opportunity right back here. Silly me, I did not look at every candidate move. So in this position, I had check and check, which seemingly could be a perpetual check. So sad that we missed that opportunity. Wow. Rook F1, mate is inevitable. So, he did miss this chance earlier. So queen to B3 check was equal. Oh, maybe it wasn't equal. All right, now I feel better. I feel much better. Our cargo with a new account. Whoa. Say lovey. Before we forget that it's there. So A5 is a useful move in the King's Indian classical variation, but is Yep, it certainly is a useful move.
Mm-hmm. Is this such a useful move? Mm hmm. Yes, yes. Techno players. Takes, 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 yeah. takes. Can we have ten zero together on Lycus? Ten zero? What in the world? What in the world time control is that? It's got bishop to c6. I'm along for the ride. I don't have much of a choice, unfortunately. Takes, takes, and queen c7. Well, that was interesting. Techno players said, I am from India. Techno players said, 10 0 rapid chess match. We do have a follower request for that. Absolutely. We do have a follower request for that. Techno player, thank you for so much for being on YouTube. Cheers. We are in the middle of a dojo event at the moment. How long it will take, I do not know. I do have a lesson after this. What kind of a length on a 10 0 match were you thinking about? Techno players said, Can you give me your Lycus ID? My Lycus ID is the same. As my username here, Master Chess Dojo. Techno players said i mean 10 minutes match yes but a match means best of 12 if we have a few hours best of six race to six Techno players said, best of six, what do you think?
Techno players. There we go. I followed you. Techno players. Said. My name Krishna, but it's my Lycus ID. Nice. Please join the dojo as well. You are guaranteed to play me in the dojo. I'm going to make sure that all of the links are available to you on YouTube. So right now we're in a nine round Swiss. I like the Swiss systems because every person gets a chance against everyone else. It does give everyone a chance to play. <coughs> the race has tightened up. I'm only a half a point ahead of our cargo, who has a tremendous lead on me. It is much greater than said. Okay, I'm waiting. You're in the tournament? Good. Next round should start in just a few minutes. I do have to set up moderation for YouTube so that you'll be able to interact a little bit better. Thank you for being there, techno players. Which uh, part of India are you in? What part of India is RB Ramesh training most of these amazing new talents? Do you know? I wonder if it's the same hometown as Anand. I believe it is, right? Said. What's tournament entry code? There's no tournament entry code. Oh no! Is it not showing up because we are in the fifth round? Let's take a quick peek. It is the Robert Fontaine's birthday. If you need to get in, I can extend it for just one moment. Robert Fontaine's birthday. So let's add it. Let's make it. Well, for a moment. The URL for this particular event you should be able to get in. Rizev. Oh no, Rizev did not play a game today. Talgot did not play a game today. I don't see you in just yet, sir, Techno. There is no tournament entry code for the tournaments that are going on or within a half an hour. Said, AHM, the southern part of India. There yes, is Prague. AHM called Pragnanandhad. And don't forget his sister Vaishali. I'm positive that she is from there as well for some strange reason. Given the connection. I'm a huge fan of his sister Vaishali. I believe she has a much easier chance to become women's world champion at her present rate of speed than Prague does. Techno players said it's asking about turn. Oh, you're in the Monday through Friday dojo. birthday. You are in the Monday through Friday. You need to be in the rapid and classical. That's why I gave you this particular link for this tournament. Yeah, the Monday tournament is not open yet. That tournament is scheduled for the 20th of November. That just happens to be my student's birthday.
You can look him up here. Grandmaster Mark Arnold. Click on that last link. Said. Uh, so what should I do? Well, hold the phone. I'll give you the correct dojo link then, if that's the case. Control C, Control V. That is the correct team link that I just put up. That is the weekend event that happens later in the morning around 8 a.m. New York City time. I believe that it is about 7.30 in the evening for you, give or take a half an hour. Techno players said, okay, I clicked it then. And you join the uh, Dojo Rapid and Classical and GM Robert Fontaine's birthday should be right there. It looks like this, and it's a gold rabbit for Rapid, not Blitz. The Monday through Friday <laughs> tournaments are Blitz before I have to leave for school. Or I bring it, begin a teaching day all day long. So it looks like there are 14 players. Let's just see if you made it in. We got Los Animos. VMD looks like he's back. Right now you'll be on page two. Again, in the Rapid and Classical. I see Christabot. See you are there. Oh no, Christabot, what happened to your account? You can't play rated games, it looks like. You might need to sign up for another account, sir. It won't I don't think it's gonna let you into the tournament anyway. You're not allowed to play tournament rated games with an account that violates the terms of service. I'm going to put it back to nine. I'm sorry to see that, sir. Techno players said, so can we have a normal match? A normal match for me is always rated. Techno players said, cause I really want to play with you. <laughs> well, want is a tough. Where are we? Uh, we're playing B4. So this is our second B4 of the day. Our first one was rather tragic. Unfortunately. Techno players. Said. We will be going over some games later today. 10 minutes rated, yes. Perhaps. 10 minutes rated, yes. But in space. you said what is b4 never seen it before md night zero has gone to our amazon wish list and brought in cambridge springs 1904 
B4 is called the orangutan towels in space. And the orangutan was so named by Tarnakauer when he was passing through Central Park on his way to 71st and Broadway from the east side. He was staying on the east side. I wonder if I could have played E4 anyway in that particular position. E4 probably would have been best. Let's see if we can still go for it. Maybe not with the E5 in. Said, Hello, Master Chess Dojo. I had a coach that always told me to stay away from openings with animal names. <laughs> Towels in space. I think he was talking about the dragon, which is not a real. He'll look it up. Techno players. The orangutan is also Simply called the Polish opening the because Tartakar happened to be Polish. This is a very bizarre reversed um what in the world are we doing here let's just keep chipping away at our opponent's center while our king is here towels in space said what's the idea behind orangutan opening the idea is to fight for the dark squares in the center with pieces and perhaps pawns. I also had the option of getting f4 in early on, and I chose not to. I'm not planning on castling with this particular setup, mainly because my opponent is coming after me in such a way that it seems to be a little bit embarrassing, to say the least. I don't know if rook to c1 is a good move, but, oh no, it's definitely not a good move. Definitely not a good move. I am suffering, ladies and gentlemen. Suffering, suffering, succotash. Yes, bishop to a6. All right, maybe I will castle. But first, a word from our sponsor. We're just going to wait. Techno players. Said. Knight g5. Yeah, knight g5 does look interesting. I am super pinned here. This is not good. Yeah, I am in some serious, serious shenanigans. Mommy has the better of me today. Not much I can do about it, <clears throat> except cross my fingers. So he has bishop to c3 check? I don't know. It is pretty ugly. That much is true. Now my knight is being attacked. I have a shot at Queen A4? No. Alright, now for the moment of truth. We need to throw in at least one in between move here. Takes, 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 takes. If 
I take, he takes on f3. If I take on b7, So now we're trapped in Fisher's mind, battling his own private army. Good and if morning, we get killed, Kian Chas. How are you? We'll be lost in limbo till our brains turn to scrap. Great to see you, Kian. Hmm? Welcome, Ati. It is super great to see you. Queen Burial said, "Kenyan raid." Can I? Will I? And do I? Have an opportunity here. Queen Burial. Thanks for following. Okay, Pasta. This is not good. No good indeed. That is the small answer that I was hoping for. At least I have a shot at winning, at getting out of this mess now. Whoa, now I have a better than even shot. Let's do it this way. Try to liven up some action here. I don't know if we're bothering him enough. Let's stay active. I don't really think that I'm attacking him enough, to be honest. It is unfortunate that we have these rather awkward Interesting. 
Did not expect that. Wow, can you believe we escaped against Mommy? Having lost a piece in the opening? Not good. Sicilians, I have to catch up with the Carl Kahn's. The classical Sicilian is the most diverse of the Sicilians. It prevents the English attack as well. It allows for the Dragon, the Boslavsky, and many, many others. So let's see here. Do I need to play... I think I need to play this way. get a notification. Is the music still playing? It appears to still be playing. Let's grab another earbud for the occasion. So the pawn on e3 is serving pretty, pretty, pretty well. Can I castle? Mm hmm. We have more rocks where that one came from. So where is the knight going? Is the knight going anywhere could embarrass me? <coughs> uh oh. Peace coordination problem. Queen Burial, thanks for following.
see where he is headed. BMD Tuss, it is great to have you in the mix. Chess. Bishop six F three said, What do you think? Techno player, how can I send you a challenge request? Did you open up a new account? Why report PMD chess? Mommy versus Ron Hay. Ron Hay is back in the mix. Mommy is definitely on fire. Definitely, definitely on fire. Just trying to undermine. Bishop to B1. Looks like a skewer. Stop doing that. Knocking off my stuff from the deck. I feel like part cat. He's definitely after these weaknesses with the next natural move, but it's check. Then Bishop covers. Now there's no knight that can go to that square.
give our rock some room. Rook c2, bishop e4. And life is getting a little sticky. Uh oh. This could be trouble. Can we stay behind the pawn? The rook can't move to a8, so we're always getting behind the pawn. Mommy was all in. Somehow I have a plus score against Mommy, despite how very well he plays. Ron is at plus 18. He gets. We have to give back the pizza. Is this Rook and Pawn ending the run? I don't think so. Not sure what there is to think about here. No! Now we are losing to Bishop G4. No! Oh no, we're not losing to bishop c4. We're losing to bishop c6. <laughs> that was almost a blunder. What is the opponent's big idea? Well, rook to a8 check is the big idea. Towels in space. Said. I blundered. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you mommy? You played so well, mommy. You still had a shot. Not a great shot, but you had a shot. Owls in space. What a great uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy reference. Owls in space. This is our third B4 as far as I know this tournament. They are getting vacant. Very, very vacant.
And now for something completely different. We have to keep up the attack. Now for something completely different. Takes, 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 takes. Definitely have to keep him from castling. That much is true. Whoa. Life is getting very difficult for Paye. We stole a piece out of the deal. No, we weren't supposed to steal a piece out of the deal. I think he thought that it was a blunder, since I didn't play Queen Takes. He insta-moved without thinking. I see. All right, we do have to offer. something to get our pawns moving. Hopefully we aren't getting overworked here. Are we still ahead of our cargo? Not by much. Charles we have Spears. one more round. Bad. And I'm probably Play getting... So bad, LOL, sorry. That's alright. I play so bad as well, Towels in Space. I do. Just not on any given round can you be guaranteed that you're going to play well. It was a good game until it wasn't. Uh, H6, by the way. H6 is the move that usually is played. G4 is usually no good because of H6. In fact, I played the move H. I made played the move G4 against Grandmaster Alex Voitkevich. And after the move H6, H4, I did not really have a threat of playing g5 because my rook was hanging. Very sad. 
So after bishop g7, I had to resort to e3, which is all part of the plan, of course. But when the d-pawn moves, I'm sort of relegated to bishop h3. But black is still better in this position. And then you moved a little too quickly right around here. I was planning on using the open F file after castling, but D5 without thinking allowed me to scarf a pawn. Queen to D7 would have created some immediate awkwardness for me. I was debating on whether or not I was gonna play G6 straight away with an attack on the E5 pawn so that you couldn't play F6 because of F7 check. Queen F3 was designed to try to get E4 out of the deal, but now, unfortunately, I'm back to my winning ways. And Rook on H to E8, you had to guard this pawn. I was still planning on taking. And after pawn takes, Queen H7 check and trading queens. And I have two to one pawn majority on the queen side. I can move my king up and bring my other rook in and try to push those for some form of an advantage. So for those of you wondering how to find a plan for what to do, a strategy for continuing in any given position. You should be guided by improving your worst place pieces, seeking out more space, not just civilizations. Not just boldly going where no man has gone before, although I like to do that myself. Techno players. JDX the kid. The techno players, are you working on that? I hope you're working on that. It is 3.30 in the afternoon for Ron Hay. Ron Hay gets by, our car go, and it does not look so easy for him to get by, our car go. Awkward. Rook to d2, king to e6, rook to d6 check, king to e7, still awkward. He has a handy in-between move, unfortunately. King f4, but still bishop to e5 is going to keep the rook from invading. <clears throat> Towels in space. Said. That is actually my big what problem. I can't bond any plans. I do have a plan, but when I run out of a plan, I don't know what to do, and I usually end up with shuffling around pieces and hoping my opponent will do something that lets me create a plan. It's a, it's a common problem. It's not just your problem. Hold on. grandson was calling out, but my wife has him, so that's good. Rook to d8. How to continue in this position.
Ron might be creating just enough counterplay. No, I think the rook check was needed there. A rook check was needed. But I guess after the move b5, but our cargo is banking everything on winning the h pawn, it looks like. Our cargo is a very good tactical player. I probably would have gone with b5, rook to e8 check, and rook to e6. But okay. Maybe a temporary tag of the rook, just to prevent any funny business. g5. Probably would have gone with G4, G3, G2, G1. Yeah, this is this boat's very, very ill. Rook takes B4 check. Oh no. We're pinned. Oh no, rook to f6 for a very good tactical display. And now rook takes b4 check. Up, oh, missing the chance to just take another pawn with check, followed by bishop e7 check. Why resign if you don't have to? So the problem is that we have check on A1 followed by check on B1. Awkward. Or worse yet, queen check on D1. So far, it looks like mate in three if we're not careful. <laughs> yes, queen to d1 check. Bishop to c1 check. Eight and two, but give the bishop a chance to mate. So cruel. He's trying to get Ron to resign. Queen takes B2, pity draw. Queen takes C2. Moment of truth.
Our cargo is toying with Ron. Oh, that's very sad. When he had bishop to c1 check before, he had a mate with bishop to c1 check. It's very sad that he didn't play for that. Where was it here? Check. So in this particular position, bishop to c1. King to b3. Oh uh, yeah, he had this queen takes and bishop check for a nice unique mate. Magnus Olmox. Magnus Olmox. Is this our fourth B4 for the day? I don't even know how B4 is doing for us today. Will I watch your next game? I'm going to be watching it really, really up close. <laughs> Magnus. Rot needed to beat the... Uh, our car go to get paired with me and have an easy victim. You know, this is an interesting line. Wait a minute now. Wait just a minute. What? You were supposed to play bishop to g7 there. You could have played bishop to g7. Getting the knight to move four times in the opening to complete the knight's dance. Let's keep control in the center, just in case anyone has any ideas here. In these closed openings, you have to use pawns to stake out space. In open games, you play for open lines in the exchange of pawns. Back here, I did consider for a brief moment in time, the idea of playing knight to g5. But between the candidate moves, knight c3, d4, and knight to g5, we have managed just a little bit to annoy our opponent. So, do I wish to help him out? No. This is Black's big chance to play f5 when I should have really played d4 last move. Yuck. d4, f5, etc. So now. Why did we do that? 
Why did we give away a bishop that was perfectly developed for this? Because he has knight to e4? Is this true? Is this much true? Alright, it's time to start going after our opponents. Pizzas. And pawn structure. How much time do I have to get there from here? He moves his knight. I don't really have bishop f3. Move the knight. I may just go for e4. I'm sorry, d4. e4 is a possibility. Voss and the Veld. Maybe I should have followed up with uh, Bishop F3 when I had the chance. Mm-hmm. Takes, takes. We don't really have an advantage here, but we do have the two bishops. There are a few ways to go wrong, like that. And then a discovery on the rook, for what it is worth. E5 was better, silly me. D5 was better. I helped him out. Well, that was interesting when he could have played queen takes. He's not looking at what the opponent's big idea is. I hope I didn't say that it was funny, by A. I really do. I'm terribly sorry if I said anything was funny. I can only apologize. Check, check. K 
king h6. Bishop g4, king h6. Our cargo caught up with me. But his opponents had better tie breaks. I didn't play raw in a hay, so I need Aram to beat raw in a hay. <laughs> what are the odds? If Aram can beat raw in a hay, Aram is playing black. He does have a lot of activity, but it doesn't bode well. Mate, mate, and Vas. Oh, Ron, you are too kind. You're playing mate in one, next move, and all you have to do is play king a5? Dude. The nice, quiet king a5 move. No, queen to d6. Queen to d6. Ron... Definitely, definitely gave him another tiebreak point. I could only get one more tiebreak point out of the deal, so it would not have mattered. Aram had a great tournament. Magnus, sorry. So, getting back to the plan, right? Playing over a lot of master games is part of the plan. Having a good positional sense of where to go and what to do. We learn our plans from cataloging good players' games as best we can. And, of course, the book Cambridge Springs 1904, published by Russell Enterprises in a beautiful, hardbound, glossy cover. Absolutely stunning don't necessarily know that I can find anything here. Uh, I also recommend a lot of Puzzle Streak, by the way. With Puzzle Streak, you have the option of waiting to see how to improve your best place pieces. In a manner in which it will improve your game, you have to have discipline, queen check, Queen takes. And then an E2 check can be met by. I have to make sure that there's no better moves here. Usually the answer to these exercises relies in the fact that there are better moves to be played. And here it is a reverse skewer. Did they find that in the game? No! They didn't find it in the game. That's the part that always amuses me. But they didn't find it in the game. So G4, Queen F3. And what is it about this that didn't, they didn't like? After all, they even have Queen takes check at the end. And now they see it. Better late than never. Why move to a dark square when you can move to a light square? I guess. Looks like it's mate in about three. Check and king up. Is there any way to stop the mate? Queen to e5 check and queen to e3 are both being threatened. So if bishop e3, queen e5 check. King g4, rook f4, bishop f4, Queen f4, king h3, or h5, queen h4, mate.
Awkward. Oh, now that one was seen. This is the one that I wanted. The one that wasn't seen. Now, are puzzles just not being created from my games? It's really sad if puzzles aren't being created from my games. Is it... Have I done something wrong? Let's look this up. Why aren't puzzles being created in my games? Lee Chess. You need to be lucky enough. So there is a new puzzle system from Lee Chess. According to the Lee Chess blog, Puzzles are generated from games that have been computer analyzed, the most ty common types of puzzles, yada yada yada, are mating puzzles and material advantage puzzles. The process about generating these puzzles is quite complex and involves a recursing of algorithm that generates a potential list of potential moves, prunes bad moves, and adds new positions to the solution tree. Final solution in determining an evaluation by evaluating multiple lines from the starting position. C'est la vie. Needless to say, if I am going to And I wish that the puzzle streak and this is still made because they can't recapture queen to h4. This looks like mate in one. So we do to 45, check, 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 Sonora. All right, I guess we're going to 45, whether I like it or not. G6, bishop takes, knight takes, G6. And now we just have to walk in properly. Can't allow king to e8. And we can't allow the opposition so that we can take this pawn on the next move and then go after that pawn, creating an outside pass pawn, which will bring us home. Here, this looks like almost a capture. Rook takes check. Queen takes. I 
I can always step over, right? So this looks like it's a free rook if I take with check. Because I'm still threatening check followed by check. And the rook is hanging. Bishop is hanging. The knight is hanging. All right, 44 done, 45 in the books. They're threatening my queen with check. So this looks like it could be a capture exercise. Or we just save our queen and then capture later. Save our queen and capture later. And we're at 45, ladies and gentlemen. So, meanwhile, back at the ranch, someone who became friends in person in Paris. And for those of you who really do want to play followers, this is your chance. Please say hello to the ever so lovely, sweet, and kind Lily Corizzi. If you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube, please do. Subbing to our YouTube channel would greatly support our team, our community, and our content contributions. It would... I have to edit that again? Grr. Poppy? In any event, thank you all for being here. And I have the word greatly in there twice. So we're going to... Towels in space. Said. Thank you for a great stream and tourney. Oh, thank you, Towels in Space. I hope everyone is subscribed to the YouTube. Awesomely better be a move. Thank you for the follow, Queen Burial. Thank you for the raid, Key and Chess. Cheers and ciao, everyone. Thank you very much. Talk to you soon. Enjoy, Lily. <laughs>